So Gail is a nurse and she's asking about first aid routine after a scene. I feel like it's kind of jarring when I immediately switch into nurse mode after a scene, but I also don't want to wait till after aftercare since I do want to keep my sub from going into shock. And I also don't want the hormone levels to drop too quickly. So how do I handle scenes that require first aid, like needle play, artistic cutting, whatever? You're, you're boxing yourself in too much almost. It's like scene ends, nurse mode, aftercare, or scene ends, aftercare, then nurse mode. Like flow it all together. So instead of, okay, good scene, come on over here because I'm really concerned about um, your wound. So let me take a look at the wound. We're gonna, we're gonna have to do this because I don't want it to get infected, okay? Like if you're coming at it from that energy, like, okay, that's not sexy at all. And it's instantly gonna rip that submissive probably out of subspace. So they may have had a really great scene, but they're gonna be ripped out of it so strong. It's not gonna be good. You can be in your head in terms of, okay, I am, I am in non-sexy nurse mode in my head, right? I am immediately thinking about wound care. I'm thinking about possible infections, all of that. How you go about it can be different. What you do is you start slowly setting the expectation as you're transitioning, okay? So we're not fully out of authoritarian mode and we're not fully in nurturing mode. We're kind of riding a balance between the two. I would transition into the caregiver persona with maybe a little teasing, a little playfulness, um, a little bit of, of that soft mommy kind of patronizing energy a little bit. If they're like tired or something, I might lift the chin, something like that. Look at me. You did really good. I know that was intense. And we have some things that we need to take care of. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to untie you now and we're going to move over here. Like you can still have a little bit of that authoritarian going on, right? But you move into a little bit of a more nurturing moment as well. Mm, these marks look so good. I am going to untie you now. All right. I'm just going to check on you here in a moment. And maybe touch, stroke their hair, all of that. And then as we approach the wound care, we're going to lean more into the nurturing nurse mode. But we're still going to do it with that power gap and that sense of authority because we want the submissive to feel safe. Honestly, while we check the wounds, I want that submissive drooling and passed out still. You know what I mean? I don't want the submissive like up and alert with me and being like, oh my gosh, you're right. Does it look infected? Like I fucked up. If, I, if, if they have that reaction, I fucked up. Like effective domination is not, about, is not about fixing yourself into one persona. It's about bleeding into all of them when you need them. They will probably likely want to be like affectionate with you. That could be a way to increase the power gap, add a little tease and denial too. If they're like, oh, can we just stay and snuggle for a little bit more? Then it could be, no, sweetheart, I have to check your wounds. Once I'm done with that, then we can snuggle some more. Like something like that. You see what I'm talking about where you're not giving them anxiety. You're not ripping them out of subspace, anything like that. And now I want to be nursed by, I am a damn good nurse. I will tell you. Believe it or not, I have impeccable bedside manner and I have sexy nurse costumes, you know? Mm -hmm.